everyone, welcome back. In the last video, we had a look at the IDE, and the video before that, well, we had some JavaScript basics we need for working with Node.js. Time to get back into writing actual Node.js applications. In the very first video in the series, we cr created the first application where we just rendered some text to the screen. This hello world text we see here. Now I just copied that code into a new folder for this video and I also created an index.html file which just says now using HTML with an h1 header here. Now what I want to do is I want to output this HTML file instead of this text. How do I do this? Well, just entering index.html here obviously won't work because that would just, well, um, don't even think I have to show it, but this would just, this would just show index.html here. So that's not the way to do it. Let's think about what we have to do in order to render this file to the screen of the user. The file is currently on our server. Therefore, we not only have to send it to the user, but we also have to grab it on our server first. That's the first step we have to do, right? We can't send something which we don't have in our application. Therefore, we need a way to access our server file system, get the file, and then attach it to the response we send to the user, basically. Or send it with a response to the user. So we have two steps here we gotta do. And let's start with the first one, fetching it on our file system. For this, um, thank God, Node.js has another module, some helpers we can use, and I will import this module, which we will call just fs for file system, and the module that itself is also called fs for file system. Now with this file system module, we can perform all kind of tasks with our file system on the server. One of these tasks is to read a file, which is what we're going to do, because the file already exists, and we want to read it in, read it into our application, so to say, so that we can send it to the user, the client, with the response. Now, how do we read a file? Well, it's actually pretty easy. We use our file system object here, and then we call the readFile method, which takes, well, three arguments, if we do wish to take all three. And the first one is the path of the file we want to read in. Now this is going to be our index.html file and the path is just dot slash index.html dot slash just to indicate that it's in the same folder. Now I don't want to pass any options but what I want to pass is a callback and this callback will be a function which should be well executed called once Node.js has finished reading in this file. Here I will use the past two arguments, or these two arguments will automatically be passed into this callback function. One is, well, if we get an error, and the other is the data if we are successful. Inside this file, what I want to do is, I want to first check if we do have an error. So if error is the check I can do here, this will return true if we do have an error. In this case, I just want to change the head of my response and use 404 as a code to say not found because we got an error when trying to read in this file. And then I will just output some text. So I will just write file not found. If we don't have an error, in this case, well, I'll keep the head I already have and I will instead use response and then just write but I'm not writing any text here, I'm writing the data we get. And this data will be our HTML file. So we can attach it or render it with response by simply using this write method here and passing this data we got from reading the file. And then I'm almost done. The last thing I want to do is call the response and function within this callback. So I have to release it, delete it here. Because if I'm calling response.end here outside of this callback, then it might get executed before the callback, before the reading of the file has finished. Therefore, we would not pass the file with the response because we would end the response before we got all data we need. Therefore, the right place to call response end is not outside of this callback, but inside of this function. 
Now I'm saving this and I restart my server here and reload this page. And now you can see we got our HTML file here. The problem is, this is probably not the way we wanted to render our HTML file, right? Why does it look like this? We did not want to have the pure text. Well, that's exactly the problem. We still got a header of text plain to output plain text. We're telling the browser this is plain text. Don't render it as HTML. Or we're not instructing the browser to render it in HTML, to put it that way. To change this, I'm not going to check, change this text plane to text HTML. Now let me save this and restart the server. And then I'm reloading here. And now you can see it's correctly rendering this HTML document. And this is how we output HTML files with Node.js. In the next video, we'll refine this a little bit and add some basic routing. And soon enough, we'll continue using frameworks on top of Node.js. See you in the videos. Bye.